depression. Please, please listen to me and focus on the perception you have of what surrounds you. Center your vision of tones, not to create a perception nor a focus. Try to be in the midst of things without thinking yourself too much into the scenario. Let flow in front of you, unlike a movie, but rather something that is about blood. Now you sense your body. It feels heavy and tired, though it's forced to listen to it. But it's not of interest anymore. Indeed, reality is plain, simple and chaotic. But you have to make a difference in things. That's why we assign a color to it. The color flows through space, changes and intertwines, sometimes holds to be just circling for showing like energy. What is its core? Shapey skin like a snake sizzling on the gut. But even the world's serpent is destined to die struck down by the force of thunder. For that is unlike to go. Others want you to take a look upon them, claim the glory of death while you escape of fate. While you do this, lose your vision of them as well, because they are equally not of interest since the world serpent be gone because of them. Now take a move, feel it. Look at the change it caused. It is not of meaning, but rather just neither without it. At least it can't be, since it was the only thing you were. Now, feel it. Move the same and feel it. Let your perception become your eyesight, and from it take a closer step towards the serpent that circles the world. Since the circle has neither end nor beginning, it is guided by the ancestors that talk about it. It was or was not. For that now you have light reflecting in your eyesight that is thought meaning, but rather like a serpent, unchanging, but never the same, following the light like a fallen angel created to be like God, but faded, to fail him. Draw your body to it, to your spirit, as you are fallen anyway. The light is, light is, well, that's the story, it's not close, very tight, eh?